injuries for this game. Gord Dwyer and Mitch Dunning. The linesmen are Devin Berg and Trent Knorr. And this one is underway. NHL game 500 for Adam Lowry. A proud moment for the Lowry family. Long shot and a glove save made by Martin. Svechnikov a little tap as Svech makes a nice little move to get the team out of the defensive zone and out of trouble. Intelligent player. He was an intelligent student. Nate Schmidt will backhand this in. That gets turned aside. Connor trying to work it up front for Dubois. Dubois, Kyle Connor, and Adam Lowry. The only three Winnipeg Jets to play every game so far this season. They've been doing a nice job defending. Of course, they're without some key players. And Pearson, they get Garland back, and Bo Horvat's still out, but they'll look to get back to their offensive game. Andrew Kopp to the short side, turned away. You get to know different people in different ways, and when you come out the other side, I think you're a stronger group because of it. Luke Shen rips one from the line off the blocker of Hellebuck. Leas Pedersen will play it back to the blind. Huck lets the shot go, and Connor Hellebuck tracks it down and will hang on to it. Harkins going after it, comes off a stick. Svechnikov tried to whip that into the Vancouver net, went off the heel of his stick. Harkins is there. Back for Nate Schmidt, the former Canuck. And he'll rattle this one in, and a save made by Martin. He does a good job starting this play in his own zone to get out of the zone easily, and now a little low to high play. This is the type of things you look to count on from your fourth line. Mentioned confidence with Svechnikov. There's another save with Martin. Puck is loose, and it bounces to the near side. Back to the line for Brendan Dillon through traffic, blocked it away. Miller turned it over, and Kyle Connor ripped it off the left arm of Spencer Martin. 9 3 and 3, the Jets are against the Pacific Division. Nate Schmidt, his pass intercepted, came to the side of the net, punched away by Hellebuck. Vancouver Canucks, by the way, stand up, and everyone's looking, making eye contact, nodding their heads in appreciation. A lot of respect, everybody knowing how hard it is to play 500. Put to play one, but 500 is quite something. Adam Lowry, Western Hockey League Player of the Year in 2013. Tyler Mott. Plays this back at the line. Ekman Larson near side for Tyler Myers to the front. Kicked away by Connor Hellebuck. University of Michigan team made of both Andrew Kopp and Kyle Connor. Tied up along the near side boards and back for Tyler Myers. He'll rattle this one in on Hellebuck. And we'll get a stoppage of play and a faceoff. Back up for JT Miller. Miller will put on the brakes in the jet zone. Plays it back for Brock Besser. And Besser's long shot. And that'll get swallowed up by Connor Hellebuck. He'll be tested for the first time tonight. Patterson on the far side sends it for Besser. Shot scores! J.T. Miller has the Vancouver Canucks in front 1-0. Yes, Patterson, a little face-off win right there. And look how quick they get to order from high ice to the half wall. Patterson and Besser knows where he's going before this puck arrives. A little fade away from J.T. Miller and perfectly placed low on that far post and on the power play with the extra man. Vancouver Canucks don't waste very much time whatsoever. Spoke for 13 and a half minutes. Uh, he's, he's phenomenal. I mean, he's just so honest. He's so well-spoken and such a fit. It's refreshing to hear him talk. Have a bit of a feature on him coming up. There's a shot. Score! Andrew Kopp! Bats that out of midair. He was a good football player. Right there, he shows his baseball skills. And the Jets have tied this game up 1-1. A play that would have blown the play dead. Wow, that is unbelievable skill. It's hard to tell. It always is with the camera angles because they're not at bar level or at shoulder level. But that's a plan. That's no fluke right there is Andrew Cobb. Hughes off the corner board, sends it on for Besser. Through for JT Miller, backdoor play. And Connor Hellebuck came across and makes the save. Game's about saves and then timely saves. Hellebuck has come up large at important times here again after getting momentum back. Maybe an injury that he tested out that he had in the first and didn't feel right. Tells me that he probably won't return based on the fact that he went off so slowly. Eric Comrie dressed as the backup tonight for the Winnipeg Jets. Eric Comrie played in both games in Vancouver. Into the Vancouver zone, 48 points in 62 career games. For Paul Stastny against the Vancouver Canucks. 
Cross ice, speed shot, score! JT Miller has his second of the game. And the Canucks have regained the lead. This is the chances that the Jets have been really focusing on taking away the middle of the ice on the rush. A little stop up middle seam, and I'll tell you what, if a team can execute on a pass right through the gut of the ice, it resets the entire defensive set. There's probably going to be an open lane on the weak side. Coming off. Great, Dennis. Just going to say, coming off a season high, 24-38 against Edmonton. Shifley to the short side. Cop with the loose puck on the short side with the rebound. Penalty kill. Taking away seams and good pressure. See Quinn Hughes out with a good stick and just just with committee here finding ways. It's not necessarily clean, but get to the net looking for rebounds. Spencer Martin, I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah. I could just lead you down a wrong path. <laughs> JT Miller shorthanded, looking for the hat trick. Turned away by Connor Hellebuck. Back in front for Oliver Ekman Larson. Another save by Hellebuck as Piog was without a stick. Comes around for Mark Shifley. Some good pressure here by the Shifley line. At the line for Pionk. His cross ice pass out of the stick to Shifley. In for Andrew Kopp. Off the crossbar. Taken by Wheeler. Oliver Ekman Larson back at his own line. Cross ice for Shen. Shen and Besser with the assist on the second goal by JT Miller that has Vancouver up 2 1. Miller in scores! Second career hat trick for JT Miller as he gets this one through Connor Hellebuck and it's a 3-1 lead for Vancouver after the Jets had so many chances. Extended shift, the Jets having nothing but chances, following up one with another offensively and then you come back and it just pops the balloon. All air out of your sail now. The Jets will really work hard to kind of get back on this as they don't maybe get what they've earned or deserved with the great opportunities and a shot low on five hole for Hellebuck. Have come in the first five minutes of a period. And they could use one here in the first five minutes to get this game to within one. The Ducks coming off the overtime loss to Edmonton. Had a 2-0 lead in that one. Deflected in front by Pedersen off the pipe. So look at Connor Garland just kind of turn and fire this puck. A tip net front from Pedersen. It's a nothing shot. It's that close to maybe a stick gets up into the face of Hoaglander. I didn't see a slash there. Shot another one. They score off the face off and another quick one off the face off. JT Miller is in front. That Pedersen one was an example in recent memory and then the little face off win here. Net front, there's JT Miller. Not sure what he gets off the wrist, maybe a little in tight cross check from Brendan Dillon. A puck that's deflected, bouncing, and maybe Brock Besser that spins, yeah, fires up. Peon needing to get to the bench. Another wrist shot, save, scramble in front, this gets cleared. Tyler Myers. Cross ice for Pedersen, scores! Elias Pedersen makes this a 5-1 game as Neil Pionk limps his way back very slowly to the Jets bench. Elias Pedersen who gets that pass through the seam. No pressure, no stick, top corner as Hellebuck has to push side to side. On it goes for Stasty, back for Harkins and Luke Shen prevented Harkins from getting to the middle of the ice. Centered in front, best of line, and the shot save made. The rebound off of Shen in behind Spencer Martin. And then the Jets will go into Philadelphia for a game against the Flyers on Tuesday as the Canucks will win this one 5-1. to one.